What's up, Blender artist? It's me, Jack, with another tutorial. You are watching part four of this Blender Hard Surface Beginners tutorial. You can get access to the tutorial playlist from the description of this video. Now, open your Blender software and get ready to working with me. In part three of this Blender tutorial series, I gave you a challenge, right? How many of you complete that task? i really curious to see your answers in the comment section. For those who felt tough to accomplish my challenge, let's see how to do it. First, place you 3D cursor position at the center of this hole by pressing Shift key and right click. Then add a cylinder, scale it very small, and rotate it on X axis 90 degree. A small information for beginners. If you want to rotate 90 degree, press R and type 90 on the keypad. Okay, now scale the cylinder on Y axis to make it something like a rod. Apply shade, smooth and scale. Press tab to edit mode and select the two faces of the cylinder. Control B to bevel. This time I just bevel with one segment. Again, select the two faces of the cylinder and I key to insert face and Alt E to extrude. And one more time, insert the face and extrude and bevel with three to four segments. We made the screw, patting yourself on the shoulder, 50% of the challenge is completed. Now crack your knuckles. Get ready to complete our mission. Here, enable Carver add-on and select the cutter type into a circle. Let me cut her a hole here so that our model looks symmetrical. Press enter to confirm the operation. Oh, cutter is outside. Just bring it inside our mesh and send it to cutter collection. Bye. Now let me see if I missed anything. Yeah, I said to add some extrusion at center, right? Let me select the mesh and go to edit mode. Now add a loop cut at center by pressing R and bevel the edge. Here press Alt E and select extrude along normal. Just drag it inward and also scale down on Y axis. Shading issue. Let me fix it very quick by manually sharp the edges. I think we could also add something inside the hole. So select this screw and duplicate it and move it on X axis. Move it up, its kind looks like the screw floating on the air so scale it to fill the gap to two wider on Y axis. Hmm, let me see if anything happens when we scale down on Y axis. Yeah, the screw edges are flattened, but don't worry, select this edge, slightly move it back to bring back the shape. Same to the other side. All right, we completed the challenge successfully. Take a break and have a cup of coffee. Back to modeling. The leg is over. I, I mean, we finished modeling the leg for our robot. Let's start hitting the body. I mean, let's start modeling the body. For the top, I would like to add a cube and move it near to the leg, then scale it up. Not too big, but something like this. Next, scale it all the way down and bring a rectangle shape. Apply scale and jump to edit mode. Now select the top face and run a bevel with one segment is fine. Same to bottom, but instead bevel, just mirror by using symmetrize tool. Let's actually smooth the sharp edges. First, select all the edges or select only one side. Then control B to bevel. Scroll your mouse wheel to increase segments. Now select all by pressing A and mirror to the other side. Next, select the middle edge by alt left click, then bevel it with one segment. Now alt E and extrude along normal. Just drag it inside, then shade smooth. Next, what we are going to do now is maybe we add some connection point between leg and body. Before that, let's position the leg. So I'm going to move it forward and R to rotate on Z axis. I think it's maybe 35 to 45 degree. Great now, select all part of the leg and press forward slash on keyboard to hide everything except the selected object. Now place the 3D cursor at the center of the hole and add a cylinder, scale it to the exact size of the hole, then scale it up on Z axis. Next, we are just do some loop cut, bevel and extrusion. Now it's looked like the leg is connected to the body, great. Next, what we are going to do now is select the, the head and go to edit mode. Select these two edges and press S E Z, bring it down. Add a loop cut at center and bevel it with one segment and Alt E to extrude inside. 
Again, scale eye down on Z-axis. Apply Mark Sharp to all four edges. Next, ah, uh, let me think what else we can add to make it interesting. Hmm, I would to model something like camera or sensor. For that, add a cylinder, scale it down. Rotate on X-axis 90 degree and move it just a little bit. Scale it Y-axis something like this and place it inside our model. Now I forgot to apply scale, you don't do that mistake. Go to edit mode, let add some detail to our camera. Add a loop cut and bevel it, Ike we always do. Alt E to extrude. Now add another loop cut, press S to scale it. Now bevel the edge to bring curve surface. Next up, select this edge and bring it to front. Next add loop cut somewhere here and just slightly move it forward. Now go to face selection mode. Select all the faces and go to select and find something called checker deselect. By selecting this alternate section, just extrude along normal. Move it up and just run a small bevel. Yeah, it's look like old school sci-fi robot. Apply shade smooth and again, jump into edit mode. Here we insert the face and extrude inside. Then again, insert the face and extrude and bring it to forward. Insert one more time to fix shading issue. Maybe run a small bevel. Now go to object mode by pressing tab. And here let's duplicate the camera and moving to right side. Yeah, buddy, we bring eyes to our robot. Hmm, how about adding another camera? Shift D, move it left. Well, that looks more good. Now let's see if we can add some detail. Let me select this one and go to face selection mode. Select the face and insert it. Move it back and scale down. Now go to Edge Selection Mode, select this edge and mark Sharp. Now delete the old model and replace it. There is something looks not satisfied, let me see if I run a bevel on this edge. Select two edges and control B to bevel with five to six segments. No, that's looking like a shit. Control Z to undo and I'm going to just run a small size of bevel. Okay, that's better. Next, add another cube, scale it very thin. Move it right side. Now scale all the way up on Y axis. Now control A to apply scale and bevel this two edges to bring round surface. Then select the cube and also the head of the robot. Press control B and select difference Boolean. Just apply the modifier and move the cutter to the collection. To mirror the changes to the other side, go to mesh and select symmetrize, then choose your direction. The top is looking boring, right? So go to edit mode and select the top face and insert just a little bit, then extrude and drag it down. By the face is selected, press S to scale it down. Now change to edge selection mode and select this edge by alt click and bevel it something like this. And also select this edge by alt click, run a bevel with few segments. Also bevel the inside face. You can mirror the same to the bottom or maybe I do something different Let's enable Carver add-on and draw a shape like this and enter to confirm the operation. Cutter is outside. Let's bring it inside and hide the cutter. Next, go to edge selection mode and bevel all the sharp edges. We almost finished the robot. Now only thing you need to do is duplicate the leg and place it all four side of our model. So go to top view by pressing seven, by left click and drag, you can select multiple object. Sometime you need to manual select some mesh by shift left click. And again, go to top view, shift D and move it on Y axis and R and Z rotate it now. Place it as close to the head of our robot. I think we can rotate it slightly. Yeah, it's perfect. Next, select the two leg and press Shift D, duplicate it and bring it to right side. Now, instead of rotating the object, just right, click and select mirror and choose your specific axis. It will mirror to that direction and we just need to move it a little bit. There you go, we finish our model. I feel really glad if you complete the model with me. Take a break, I see you in my next part.